Praise the living Jesus. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, you are all welcome into the presence of the Almighty God this morning. As you have come, may you encounter God and pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord He is worthy to be praised and adored So we lift up holy hands with one accord Singing blessed be the name Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. So we lift up holy hands with one accord, singing, Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Ancient of this, I am that I am the Holy One of Israel. We worship you, we magnify your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made for us. Thank you, Lord, for your love and kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for the way you have been helping us. Thank you, Lord, for this day. As we have come to worship you in this holy sanctuary, Father, we declare that our worship this morning shall be acceptable in the name of Jesus Christ. In this service, Father, we pray that you will reveal yourself to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you will touch us in a wonderful way in the name of Jesus Christ. In this place, let your name alone be praised. Let us be blessed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.
Hallelujah. Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who has made it possible for us to be here this morning. Blessed be the name. You are. 
Jesus said to the fishermen, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. In the service of all the Eucharist, I will bless the Lord at all times. Who oh, magnify the Lord with me? This is the day which the Lord has made. Almighty God, to whole all heart and hope, all desires known, and for who no secret are hidden, cleanse the thought of our hearts, by expression of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and will magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks, praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord, and shall love your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is limited this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There's no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments, and all the law and the prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save all from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Here the words of comfort, our Savior Christ said to all who truly turn to him, Come to me, all we live on heaven laden, and now we give you rest. Let us confess our sin, independence, and our faith, primary resort to give God's commandment, and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly, leaning, and saying together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we have known softly work according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ. We are not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ who die for us, forgive our heart that is past, and grant that we may serve the mess of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The collect, the epistle, and the gospel. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, look on the heartfelt desires of your servant and strive for your powerful right hand to be our defense against all our enemies, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
the epistle is written in the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians, chapter 6, beginning at the 11th verse. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be bought under the power of any. Food for the stomach and the stomach for food. But God will destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for sexual, sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God both raised up the Lord and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Everything that a man does, it's outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. This is the word of the Lord.
The Holy Gospel is written in the second chapter, the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, as recorded by St. John, beginning at the first verse. On the third day, there was a wedding in Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hand has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twelve or thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made my wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servant who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom, and he said to him, Every man at the beginning set out the good wine, and when the guests have were drunk, then the inferior you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Canaan of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. If you are alive this morning, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If the Spirit of God is living in you this morning, shout the loudest hallelujah. hallelujah. We are at the third Sunday in the year 2023. We are privileged to have spent 15 days this year. From January to today, some people have lost their lives. Late last night, the news just came in to me that Lagos Ibadan Road, 20 people died. And so, and this is the same road that we pass. Some are kidnapped. Some of us, within last Sunday and now, we sat at our home, we eat whatever we like. Not whatever we see, but what we like. But if you have opportunity to visit hospitals, you find that some have food, but they cannot eat. Some can eat, but they have no food. But me and you, we have food and we can eat, and so we are here this morning. I want you to wave your hands to God and sing this song with me. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassion. Oh, I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen, I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. Oh yes, I have seen the Lord's goodness. Oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent. Yeah. 
we just confess that you have been so good we confess that you are excellent we saw the mighty works of your hand reign on your throne you direct the affairs of the world and you said you have mercy on those whom you have mercy Lord we thank you for we are people of your own mercy today. And it is by your mercy that we are not consumed. What have we deserved? What have we done to deserve being alive today? Why others are dying? What have we done to deserve it? But because your mercies endure it forever. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou lifted to the highest heavens. In the name of Jesus. We ask that you look down on us from your throne of power and grace. And bless us this morning. Accept our thanksgiving. Accept our gratitude. In the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that your presence that has always been with us. We manifest now in the name of Jesus. This service will not be usual, but it will be the unusual in the name of Jesus. You will release your power upon us. Your word will come to us like never before. As we believe and trust in your word, we shall never be put to shame. You will turn and set ablaze every garment of shame in our life in the name of Jesus. Let your garment of glory be put upon us. Let your garment of honor be put upon us. The miracle that has never been done in our lives before, in our family before, in our work, in our businesses before. Father, in this month of January, release it in the name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. The miracle you have never performed in our lives before, perform it this time around in the name of Jesus. Lord, we gather together. Our heart is set to the obedience of your commandment. May you visit us greatly in the name of Jesus. And may your presence ever remain upon us. Let your word be spoken. Let your word be heard. And let us believe your word as we appropriate them into our lives. Make us doers of your word. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And children of God say, Amen. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the Alpha, he is the Omega. He is the beginning, he is the end. All power belongs to him. All honor belongs to him forever and never and never and never and never and never and never and never. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Say good morning to the person beside you. Tell that person it is well with you. Tell that person the Lord will bless you today. If you believe, say amen. I welcome you to the presence of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and wishing you all a very beautiful Sunday, a wonderful week in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is third Sunday and in the third Sunday we have the general team that says Jesus turned shame to fame. Jesus turned shame to fame. May he turn our shame to fame. Our shame to honor. 
May he set ablaze every garment of shame in our lives and our families in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the text is taken from John chapter 2, the gospel that was read. Verses 9 and 10. We shall read it together. John chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. If you are there, it's on the screen. Let's read it together. One, two, go. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and know not whence it was. But the servants which draw the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which was worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Of course, Jesus was invited to a wedding, the first wedding in Cana of Galilee. Those of us who have traveled to Israel, I want to take your mind there. Perhaps if you are able to visit Galilee, you will see that first church there. And some people still, if couples travel to on pilgrimage together, some still go there and they still redo their wedding. <laughs> so that they too will say, we did our wedding in Cana of Galilee. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when you, there's no time you are there, you will not see a priest joining a couple together or renewing their vows, their marital vows. There's nothing bad about that. So uh, there's no time. So Jesus was invited. His mother was invited. Jesus and his disciples also got invitation. And um, of course, one until when the time comes, nobody knew that Jesus was there. Of course, the celebrants only knew that they extended the invitation unto him, whether he comes or not. But Jesus' mother was also there. That can suggest to you that those celebrating that wedding might be very close associates to Jesus' family. The Bible didn't tell us whether the father was there, but the mother was there. And Jesus himself had to be there. And I want you to visualize this scenario where they ran out of wine and the mother of Jesus, Mary, went to him and said, son, they have no wine. I was looking at it, number one. Why will she go to him? Is Jesus the, in charge of wine? Eh? Number two, was Jesus giving the allocation of wine and saying, for this wedding, you, know, you are donating wine. So why will the mother go to him? Of course, you know, there's a secret between Jesus' mother and Jesus, which was not new to anybody. Get that today. Open your Bible to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. I want you to 
read from verse 52. Sorry, from verse 41. 52 is the last verse. In that passage, okay, if you want to go read through it, but I want to paraphrase it because of time. In that passage, one, Jesus was 12 years old and he was presented as a child born under the law. According to the Jewish law, one, every first male child of the Jews have to be presented at the age of 12 at the feast of Passover. And Jesus was 12 years old and they traveled to Jerusalem to go and do the feast. At that feast, people travel all over the, the world to go there. And at a particular time, they were doing the celebration and then Jesus left and he went to the temple. Because at that time, every year, the Jewish teachers and the Jewish priests, the high priests, they sit at the temple and to look at laws. Is there any law that the people are complaining about? And they will review it. And when they review it, they raise questions so that people will go back hearing one thing, good thing or the other because they meet again until the following year where another people might have graduated to the age of 12. The celebration was on and off and everybody tend to go after. Then the parents were looking for Jesus and after third day they found him in the temple when you read that passage. And the Bible says, excuse me, when they found him in the temple, the mother said, son, that's where I'm going, the secret be between them. Say, son, why have you done this to us? I and your father have been looking for you for the past three days. And Jesus Christ said, mother, why are you looking for me? Don't you know that I must be at my father's business? If any of your children should tell you that you are looking for your child for the past three days, and you say, ah, you this child, where have you been for three days? And he said, why are you looking for me? Oh, you don't know that I must be in the church? You will, you will give that child a dirty slap. But the secret is that the Bible says, but the mother, okay, Let's, let's start to read from verse 48, please. Luke chapter 2, from verse 48. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not know that I must be about my father's business? Verse 50. And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them, and they came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his, that's the secret, where I'm going. But his mother kept all these saints in her where? Her where? In her heart. Without telling anybody. And now, it is the same mother. Who knew who the type of person the son is? Now, ask him or told him, son, they have no wine. And Jesus Christ said, Again, woman, what is it now? They invited you, they invited me. We got separate invitation. We didn't come as a family. You didn't ask me to follow you to that party. 
But no, my time has not what? And the mother turned. We are back to John chapter 2 now. To the servants. Whatever he tells you, do it. There's a divine connection there. Ordinarily, it is believed that children are very close to their mother. Is that correct? I know our mommies are very happy about that. Children are very, very close to their mothers. Very close to their mothers. Why can't father allow their children to be close to them? Ah, need time. We don't have time for our children. And any other time that they come, we just shout on them, what is it? What do you need? Okay, take, 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 take. go, 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 go and meet your mother. The day you will call that child, and he will say, Daddy, ah, okay, I will come. Oh, oh, you are there, uh, but I will see you tomorrow. Don't worry, sir. Don't be offended, though. Whatever a man sweat, you reap. I know if that interaction between Jesus and the, and the mother was between Jesus and the father, who knew whether that miracle wouldn't have come? And in a nutshell, you have found that Jesus called the, uh, the servants, fill this jar. At weddings, according to the Jewish tradition, they normally have six pots, a means of purification. And of course, the woman that is being wedded must be a virgin. Fill these jars, and they fill it. He gave another command, draw it out. They drew it out. The third command, take it to the chairman of the feast. When people come and talk about, um, yes, Jesus turned water to wine. You know, those who drink alcohol in the church, that's their basis of defense. But they don't know what they are saying. Before a content that was meant to be a wine can have some alcohol, there must be fermentation. Hello? Are you listening to me? There must be what? Fermentation. Is there any fermentation in the water? What other thing that was hard to the water? That's why it's a miracle. And the point of our text and team is that shame came upon the entire guest and the couple and their parents, and their family. But Jesus removed that shame. Where they are running hectares scatter, where the wine has finished, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Thank God, the mother of Jesus, another secret, did not tell them that Jesus is here. Go and meet him. You know, there are parents, they, you have a way of exposing your children to danger. My late mother was doing that to me. But I, maybe because I'm a priest, I find a way, I have a godly way of dodging it. What was she doing? Anytime I visited her before her death, this year will be 10 years that uh, the devil... The witches and wizards in my place killed her. And they killed her at 98. Imagine. Imagine. They didn't allow the woman, the young girl, to get to 100. And I would say, Mama, okay, take this, take this. The person, the carer, take this for her, this or that. <laughs> Mama would not say, Come on. Hey, Mama, Jacob is there. 
ah, 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 you must give him something. I said, Mama, I've not come to share. Ah, okay. When we drag it, you now say, I will give my own. What you give to me, I will give it to them. That's the mother's wisdom. So we now allow her to give her own to them. You know what I will do then? Definitely, I must respond to her call. And that was what the mother of Jesus tried to guide by telling the people, whatever he tells you, do it. She was not going about and saying, my son is here, go and meet him. Some of our mother, you have to be careful. If your children are doing well, hand them over to God and not to man. Be grateful to God. Ah, you must see Mama so 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 and so before you go. Ibel Gino is not far. It's at the back of the house. Go and see her. Be careful. Are you in the same mind with Mama so 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 and so? Jesus was able to perform the miracle because the family was under the guidance of the power of God. In 2023, where do you put your family? Under which power do you hide yourself? Under what belief do you hide yourself? There was no power of fermentation. That ruled out the alcohol drink. It didn't provide the alcohol drink. It didn't provide it. What I want you to learn from this is this. Number one, I want you to learn that God is the owner of everything in life and he must be taken first in everything we want to do. Many people want to do some celebrations at a bad day, at a wedding. They prepare for the day. They don't prepare for God. And at the end of the day, some of them will come late to church. They are the one who invited people, but they will be late there. 30 minutes, you are still waiting for them. And if it is the priest that delayed the service for five minutes, wahala. They will be looking at watch. <laughs> And uh, if they see somebody, is this what the way you are doing in this church? Look at your. I'm a wago. But they can delay the service for 30, 40 minutes. And the priest will be there waiting for them. And if we have some radical priests like some of us, he will start the service before they come. He will be talking about the banon. God does not wait for anyone. If you don't invite him this year, O Y O, you are your own. Invite God into your heart. Invite God into your family. Invite God into your business. Invite God into every aspect of your life. Then he will fight the battle. He will fight the battle. Number two. I want you to know that he provided the best wine for them. You see, when you invite Jesus into anything you want to do in 2023, he will give you the best. He will give you the best. He will pro what you don't, you know, at times we ask ignorantly. There's a prayer in our uh, prayer book that God, even when we ask, ignorantly that God should remember his mercy and grant us according to his heart. Ask God to do to you the way, because the best way is the way that God will treat us. The best gift is what God will give to us. You know, at times, we even ask what we enjoy ourselves. God showed himself his power by providing the best 
the best thing always come out with testimony. And you heard the chairman when the wine was brought to him. Ah uh ah. -uh. In every party that I've been going, people always bring good wine and people will drink and then filled up. After that, they will now bring the bad one. But you people have kept this good one. Allow people to have gotten drunk before you bring this one. There is somebody here. Listen to me very well. A greater visitation is coming upon your family this year. Yeah. Number three is that he made the end of the occasion beautiful and better than the beginning. By the time they spread the wine, it's as if the party have just started. 2023 will be better for you than previous years in the name of Jesus. Number four is that he did not allow the couple to be put to shame. He removed their shame. People can quickly condemn you. If you have been doing good, good things, the day you make a slight mistake, <laughs> uh, we know the way he was going, we know that he will crash. We know. Ah, and if there are two people who have discussed it before, you will tell you, Shebi, I told you. I told you. I told you. Why should they even invite people that they cannot cater for? You know what we will be saying now. You know what human beings will say. But Jesus removed that shame. Whatever shame that is associated with your family, with your life, in 2023, God will remove it in the name of Jesus. And he will put garment of God honor into it in the name of Jesus Christ. And number five is that he did not allow, uh, uh, he, uh, he allowed the name of God to be glorified through great and mighty miracle that has never happened before. You know, in verse 11 of that uh, John chapter 2, it says, and this is the first miracle that Jesus wrought in Ghana of Galilee. Somebody is here. First miracle is coming your way. First miracle is coming to your family. First miracle in 2023 is coming to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. If that is the case, then you must do the following. Number one, you must make sure that nobody comes in between you and God. Oh. God must take priority. God first. He must take priority. In whatsoever you are thinking about, God first. He must take priority. Number two, hand over your life in 2023 to God who is able Abundantly able, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. To do more than anyone can imagine. Because if you hand over your life to man, they will be toiling with it. They will be remoting you. But when you hand it over to God, just go and sleep. After all, Exodus 14, 14 says, I will fight for you. And whatever, when you have handed over things to God, no matter whom you are, either old or young, either small or great, you just go on your way. You'll be receiving divine direction, divine inspiration, and divine connection. This year, you will never lack God in the affairs of your life in the name of Jesus. Number three, what to do is that don't joke with the word of God. Whatever you have read in the scripture, 
Hold on to it. Don't joke with the word of God. If the people have to say, look at this man. They say they have no wine. They say we should go and fill the jars with water. Show me, look at my phone one money. You want them to be drinking water? And remember that Jesus' mother had already said, whatever he said to you, do it. <coughs> if we believe that this is the God we serve, we must trust in his word. Trust in the word of God. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Anyone that hears this word of mine and keep it, I will like him to be a wise man. That's what the word of God says. And Psalm 119, verse 105. Say, your word, O Lord, is a lamp to our feet and light to our path. The word of God does not mislead. And thank God. You can still get the Bible of uh, 1,000 naira. Is there anyone here without a Bible? Raise up your Bible, please. Raise it up. Not husband and wife sharing the same Bible. Hallelujah. God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Have that fellowship. Begin to have that fellowship with God through the word of God. Our activities in the church will start fully now. Bible study. Create time for it. I want to acknowledge and appreciate those who are coming for the seven days prayer, which we ran up today. I'm coming to round it up today, myself. Create time, please. Our fathers and mothers, grandfathers, mothers here, please, if you, I know some of us will say, ah, what is that, but we are, okay. because of your children and grandchildren. Whatever you are doing now is because of them and because of yourself to get to heaven. But come and pray for your children and your grandchildren. Some of them are in abroad. They are so busy doing two, three, four jobs. You can be doing that for them. And you will never regret in the name of Jesus. All that you will be hearing in 2022 is good news. I say it's good news in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, God's visitation will be upon you. God's miracle will visit your family. God's power will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus removed the shame of the woman of hemorrhage for 12 years. And the woman said, oh, this time around, there's somebody they call Jesus. I only need to touch the hem of his garment and I will be made whole. She released her faith. Not that she touches physically, but where she is, she was, she released the faith. Tell somebody, release your faith. When you release your faith, it will result in miracle. And the word is effort plus faith is equal to miracle. Biblical arithmetics. Effort plus faith. Is equal to what? Miracle. Is equal to miracle. She released her faith. There was a woman in John chapter 4 who has never heard about her life before. But Jesus met her at the well. And told her what nobody has never told her before. And that removed her shame. Jesus will meet you this week. I said Jesus will meet you this week. He will release unto you the secret that he wants you to know in 2023 in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for what you have done for us. We ask that you prosper your word in our heart. You will open our eyes to see wondrous things from your law. Let there be a great miracle in our lives. Let our families receive 
our due benevolence from you in the name of Jesus. Let 2023 be the beginning of your manifestation in our family, in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove our shame, whatever that is associated with shame. In 2023, it will turn to glory for us in the name of Jesus. The power of God will back you up this year. This week will be your week. You will not fail. You will not falter. No sickness come near you. As you release your faith, you will live in good health and you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Then, let us reaffirm our faith in God in the words of nine secret. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that see and unsee. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of God, eternal begotten of the Father, God from God, Life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for all men and for salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate of Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with scriptures, he ascended into heaven and sit at the hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one. Holy, calling apostolic church. We are not your one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We live for the return of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Without waiting for somebody beside you, begin to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, for his grace upon your life. Give him praise, give him honor. Give him her adoration. Dependable, dependable God. Dependable, dependable God. You wonderful God. Reliable, reliable God. You are reliable God. Reliable, reliable God. Dependable God, dependable, dependable God, reliable God, reliable, reliable God. Appreciate Him for what God has done in your life. Give Him praise, give Him honor, give Him adoration, give Him honor. Appreciate Him. For this wonderful day that the Lord has made you to see, give him praise for what the Lord is doing in your life, in your family. Give him praise, give him honor. Appreciate him, give him honor, give him her adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let us begin to appreciate God on behalf of our families in this church. Give him praise, give him honor. Bless his holy name for what the Lord is doing. In the families of King Okoli, Okonkwo, Okunoye, Okuro Mwin, Allah the Kuko, Allah the Bossu, Allah Nyoju, Allah Rufemi, Allah Uyo, Oluk Bile. Bless his name of the Lord for all this family. Give him praise, give him honor. Appreciate God for all these families. Bless his holy name. Appreciate God that the Lord Almighty will continue to protect them. The hand of the Lord will continue to be upon all these families. No evil shall befall them. 
in this new week, they will see the hands of the Lord. They will see the wonders of the Lord. The name of the Lord will manifest in their lives. Let us appreciate God for those who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Appreciate God on their behalf. Pray for them that the Lord Almighty will continue to be with them. They will celebrate many years in happiness. Pray for Miss Gift, or Emma Day, Mr. Dakboniri, Olawale Faniyi, Fisayo Gushemi, Pusayo Busala, Omotola Onoluga, Shukuma Konkwe, Olayemi Olorichola, Lekon Taye, Tayeshe, She Shedrak Oluwati, Aye Money Affair. Pray for all of them that the hand of the Lord will be upon them for signs and wonders. No evil shall be for them. The Lord will continue to strengthen them. The Lord will continue to bless them. The hands of the Lord will be upon them for signs and wonders. Bless the name of the Lord concerning them. Give him praise. Give him honor. Let us pray for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, that Lord Almighty will visit them. The God that made the heaven and earth will do that thing that only He can do for them. Pray for this nation, Nigeria. Pray that the Lord Almighty will do wonders in this nation. The Lord will help, them, will help us. The Lord will not leave us. The Lord will do that thing that only He can do in this nation, Nigeria. The name of the Lord shall be praised in Nigeria. Let us pray for the sick, that the hands of the Lord will touch them. The Lord will visit them. The healing hands of the Lord will be upon them. God of signs and miracles will visit them in a usual way. Pray unto the name of the Lord. The Lord that made the heaven and earth, he will do that thing that only he can do for us. Is able and is abundantly able to do all things. As you join me to sing this song, as you pray for yourself, I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for my own. I can see everything turning around, see everything turning around. See everything turning around for my own. It is written in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. Instead of shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, you shall rejoice. You will turn into prayer that instead of shame, double portion shall be my portion. Pray unto the Lord that in this new week, double portion will be your portion. The Lord Almighty will visit you. Every garment of shame, every garment of hardship, every garment of sickness, every garment that enemies has put upon your life because you are here this morning, the Lord Almighty will remove that from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty will honor you will decorate you. The Lord Almighty will visit you in a usual way. The name of the Lord shall be praised in your life. In the name of Jesus, pray unto the Lord that the Lord Almighty will promote you. The Lord Almighty will elevate you. The Lord Almighty will do that thing that only you can do in your life. The Lord Almighty will visit you in a usual way. Turn it to prayer this morning that oh Lord, don't let me be put to shame. Say it after me, that, oh Lord, my Father, don't let me be put to shame. Don't let me be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, let your name be honored in my life. Let your name be honored in the life of my children. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, I trust in you. Don't let me put to a shame. Don't let my enemy rejoice over me. Oh, 
Lord my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. Pray unto the Lord that, O oh Lord, don't let me be put to a shame. Father, you have promised that you will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Pray unto the Lord that in this new week, Father, prepare a table before me. Father, decorate me. Father, let me be honored in the name of Jesus. Let me be honored, O oh Lord. Let me be honored in the name of Jesus. I pray for you because you are in the presence of God this morning. You will be honored. You will be decorated. You will be congratulated. You will be celebrated in the name of Jesus, God of all possibility. He will visit you with signs and wonders. The name of the Lord shall be praised in your life. Pray unto the Lord that, O oh Lord, do wonders in my life. Do wonders in my life. Do wonders. Visit me in a usual way. Present your request before the Almighty God. What are those things that you are trusting God for? Pray unto the Lord that, Lord, you God that manifested your glory in the wedding in the of Galilee, manifest yourself in my case. Manifest yourself in my life. Prove yourself in my life. It's able and abundantly able to do all things. Say, so, oh Lord, prove yourself, manifest yourself. Let your name alone be praised. In my life, bring your prayer to close with thanksgiving. I will never be ungrateful, oh Lord. I will never be ungrateful, oh Lord. I will never be. I will never be. I will never be ungrateful, oh Lord. Ancient of this, I am that I am. We thank you, we worship you. We give you praise, we give you honor. Thank you, Lord, because there is no one like you. Thank you, Lord, because your word says we should ask and you will do it. Father, we have asked in your name today. Father, we pray that all prayers that have been offered unto you, Father, you will turn them to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Your name alone shall be praised in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let us rise. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled all to God in one body by the cross. We meet in this day and share in his peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace by clapping and waving of hands.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this right to offer with the hands that given and whom our hands has made. It will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer food of wine and works of woman hands. It will come for us, our spiritual drink. Together, yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. All things come from you, and for your own they will give you. The Lord be with you. Lift all your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son and our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you are created all things from the beginning and form on in your own image. Through him you are free all from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as a man and to die upon the cross. You raise him from the dead and set him to your right hand high. Through him, you are set upon her, your holy and life giving spirit, and made all the people for your own possession. Giving thanks unto your holy name, because by your mercy, you are giving us the grace even to see this day. Therefore, with angels and harsh angels, I've heard the coming of heaven. We proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy. Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and heart of free your glory, to Sanan in the higher. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. I set our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. As you follow your example and obey this command, grant by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread, hand wine, may be to hold this body in our blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this. In remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of inside made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread and this cup. It's one perfect sacrifice. I said through him, our great high priest, these are sacraments of thanks and praise as you eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty. Renew us by your spirit. Inspire all with your love. I will not on the body of Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him by the power of the Holy Spirit, which always stand before your heart and in heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamp of God, we take away the sins of the world. Lamp of God, 
we take away the sins of the world. Prayer of humble access. No presume to come to your table. Merciful Lord, trust in our own righteousness. For your mighty for thy great mercies. We are not worthy so much to go down to come stand at your table. We are the same Lord. We make sure always to have mercy. And uh, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy son Jesus Christ and to drink his blood that we may ever dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for you, and his blood, which is shed for you. Eat and drink, and remember that he died for you, and feed on him your heart by faith with thanksgiving.
have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. The kingdom come, will be done on earth. Heart is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. Forgive those who sin against us. He does not into temptation, but you are from evil. Die in the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Prayer of thanksgiving. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of Son Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send out in the power of your spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. Put your hands together for Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for Lord Jesus. Now it is time to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, with our Sunday offering, first fruit, tithes, and other envelopes. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, I will dance as David danced. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, I will dance as
Just pray. Our Father and our God, we give you thanks and praise for your sustenance. We thank you for your provision. We appreciate you for what you have done for us. Lord, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have come, we have brought our Sunday offering covenant seed building fund, tithe, first fruit, and others to you. Lord, let them be acceptable before you in the name of Jesus. Sanctify it for your glory in Jesus' name. And bless us in return in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray as well for those who have paid and given their own online. Father, bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray concerning this week, no evil shall be for any of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall not go on, on a journey of no return in Jesus' name. You will bless us and bless the work of our hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, New Year Thanksgiving, especially for those who traveled during the period, it is time for us to come forward and give thanks to God for the New Year. It is good to give thanks unto the Lord. 
and to sing praises unto your holy name. The Bible says, the humble shall hear and rejoice, for the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. Gracious Father, we thank you for your favor upon your children. You saw them through the journey of 2022. You brought them into the life of 2023. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. Some travel by land, by water, by air, but you preserve them. Because you are sure, though, that you will preserve our going out and our coming from this time forth. Father, may your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your children have come to offer gratitude unto you. May you accept them. Amen. Accept their hearts. Amen. Accept their life. Amen. Because they have now presented themselves unto you in 2023, Father, you will not fail them. Amen. We pray that God, who has seen you through 2022, will not leave you this year. He will carry you in his hands. Amen. The journey of 2023 will be easy for you. Amen. In this 2023, the Lord will bless you. Amen. He will bless you with good heart. Amen. He will bless you with good health. Amen. He will bless your soul. Amen. He will bless your spirit. Amen. Prosper the work of your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 2023, Garment of shame will be roasted before you. Amen. The Lord will place upon you garment of honor, Amen. garment of greatness, Amen. garment of blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In 2023, you will break through, you will not break down. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. The Lord accept your gift Amen. and bless it. Amen. As you begin your work again, the Lord will uphold you. Amen. It will strengthen you. It will give you that great and mighty joy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. the Lord. It is time for our mothers to come forward for their family altars. Thanksgiving. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has a marvelous thing for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's always too marvelous thing for us. Father, we thank you for 
your grace upon our families. Thank you for the position of mothers in the family. Thank you for these, our mothers, for the way you have been taking care of them. Thank you for their husbands, for their homes, for their children, for their grandchildren. Thank you for those of them that are widowed because you have been the source of strength unto them. Accept our gratitude. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. At the beginning of the year, they offer this act of thanksgiving on behalf of their family. For Lord, we ask that you will behold them from your throne of power and bless them. Bless their families. Receive their thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We pray that the fire of altar we not quench in their families. Yeah. And as they call you day by day, night by night, may you answer them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, women are a pillar of strength in the family. This one, their own pillars will not be weakened in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We pray that as we see them in this church and we rejoice, we will never see any one of you and burst into tears in the name of Jesus. Amen. And because you are this altar this day, the altar of God will speak for your life. Amen. No shame for you in 2023. Amen. Every activity of the devil to put shame upon you in whatsoever more of war, ways, either sickness or ailment or financial situation or family situation, we reject it in the name of Jesus. Amen. That area of joy, that part of happiness that you are expecting in your homes, in your families, in your life, upon your children, your grandchildren, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because you are saying amen to this prayer, in 2023, your family will be visited. Amen. I say your family will be visited. Amen. And it shall be well with you. You will live in good health Amen. and you will prosper. Amen. The glory of God will shine upon you. Amen. And God will fight the battle of life for you. Amen. In the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me my very soul shall shout hallelujah praise god for saving me when i think when i think of the goodness of jesus and what he has done for me my very soul Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you this morning. We appreciate you for what you have done for us and for your presence at this fellowship. Let your name be praised in Jesus' name. As we go out this week, May you go before us in the name of Jesus. May you be with us in the name of Jesus. Let all we shall lay our hands to do, our hands to do on this week prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that in your place of work, whatever that is associated with shame will not be your portion. God will protect you. God will uphold you. Because you have surfaced at the presence of God this morning. This week will be a week of successes in the name of Jesus. You have no cause to regret this week in Jesus' name. 
We pray for all our children, those in schools, those at home, those far away, wherever they are, they are, the breeze of God's protection and blessings, we blow to them in the name of Jesus. We pray for all the young ones. The Lord will protect your going out and your coming in. All our elderly, we pray for them. It shall be well with them. At old age, they will continue to dream dreams. They will see visions in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame will not be their portion. We pray for all the instruments that the Lord has used for this service, both the clergy, the lay reader, the wardens, the choir, the organist, the choir master, the stewards, and everyone. And those who have come to worship today, your coming today will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. You are going abundantly blessed than the way you came in the name of Jesus. And the glory of God will shine upon you. By the time you come here next week, you will have your testimony. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please say after me, Father, I thank you. As I begin this week, I declare the glory of God to manifest in my life. I will not be put to shame. My family will not be put to shame. I put off the garment of shame. And I put on the garment of fame. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. have been blessed in this service. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? <laughs> Say good morning to the person beside you. Tell the person happy Sunday. Tell that person it is well with you this week. And this week will be your week. If you believe, say a louder amen. Amen. We give God the glory for the privilege of worshiping today. May his name be praised. And we welcome everyone to the presence of God. And we pray that it is well with you in Jesus' name. I want to, uh, first of all, thank God, as I appreciate everyone for the work we are doing here and for your uh, kind support and believing in what God is doing. I pray that what God has proposed for every one of us in 2023, we shall not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. Our programs of activities for the week, today we round up the seven days fasting and prayer in the evening. I crave your indulgence that you should please be part of it. Uh, even if you, didn't, you have not uh, had the time to attend since Monday, but today is Sunday. Try as much as possible. Just one hour, six to seven, come. I will be rounding up the program myself, and God will bless all of us together in Jesus' name. As you come, you will be healed, and whatsoever you desire, you will have it in Jesus' name.
The Bible study is on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Uh, please be part of it. Colossians 3, 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. So we need the word of God in our lives to be able to see God fighting our battle. Because in the word of God, God speaks to us. The God never ceased in speaking to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, the Christian mothers will have their rededication next Sunday. But today they have the guest guide, ladies guide, royal gem, royal vessel dedication at the cathedral by the Lord Bishop by 3 p.m. I think um, our people here should leave anytime by 2 p.m. Of course, the diocesan uh, guide of stewards, uh, they are having their AGM today at All Saints Anglican Church in Kosiketu. So the service starts by 10. By the grace of God, it should have started now. I think our own steward here should have representative there, if all cannot be there. It should. And the Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Okay, we have uh, celebrants of today among us. We have two of them. Okay, Mrs. Gift or Remade, Mr. Dapo Neri, and Mr. Lawale Fani. Are they around? Okay, one is around. Please you come forward. Come and take your seat as we celebrate God in your life by singing happy birthday. Yeah, the husband can follow and the baby and her. That makes it a very complete one. That's great. The good Lord bless you. Stretch what's your hands May to the good Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Prosperity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Are we glad for Jesus? Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you and bless your family. Congrats. Thank you. Do we have those who are joining us in this fellowship for the first time? Please rise if you are joining us for the first time so that we can formally welcome you. 
Okay, we have somebody. Okay, making two. That's great. Something wonderful. There's a marvelous. Something's gonna happen to you today. Please share pleasantry with them. Those are something wonderful. Share pleasantry with them. Something's gonna happen to you today. Something good's gonna happen to you. He's very there. He's very are. Something good's gonna happen to you. Because Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. I will give the Lord a round of applause again. Thank you very much. We want you to join us in any of our activities for the week. And the Lord bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor, thank you for coming. Withdraw him, please. So... Sure. 